Hey guys, welcome back to the last lap. We are in Charlotte. Right there, as you guys can see, Matthew's right here too. And in today's video, we are at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. So we're gonna do a tour, well, not a tour. We're gonna walk around and show you guys what is inside. You guys can see the cars in there. So let's go ahead and hop into it. So on this screen, we have to register a hard card. I wish this was a real hard card that we could get into the racetrack with, but we had to do that. So now we're going to go explore and see what they got here. Right here they have a list of all the cars on Glory Road, commemorating the 75 anniversaries of NASCAR. So I'll go through all those, but we're going to head over this way and see what's over here first. Starting off with an oldie but a goodie here. This is a Glenwood car from 1954. We got another classic right here. By the color of the car, you might think it's a Richard Petty car, but it's actually 1969 Dodge Daytona driven by Buddy Baker. You basically have the Petty Blue on here, but nope, not a Richard Petty car. Right here we have a Donnie Allison car, um, most probably famously known for the fight right there in the 1979 Daytona 500 really beautiful looking car right here so we just saw a Davy Allison car now we get to see a Bobby Allison car right here very beautiful looking Miller car one of the classic paint schemes in NASCAR history right here we have Tony Stewart's 2011 championship winning car you guys can actually see the tape on it right there the championship that him and Carl Edwards tied, but Tui Stewart got the tiebreaker based on like how many first place finishes he got. You can even see like the star on the shark fin on the deck lid. You can see a little championship confetti a little bit. We got Austin Cindric's Daytona 500 winning car right here. Unfortunately, they took all the confetti off and cleaned it up, but here it is. Here's our first Richard Petty car of the day right here, 1972 Dodge. A lot more orange on this one than the Petty Blue. This might be the only modified that we see in here today. It is a Jerry Cook one from 1977, so pretty cool to see different types of series here in the Hall of Fame as well. Here's our first Dale Earnhardt Sr. car, and it's the two car. Wrangler scheme that he ran in 1981. And I believe this was the only time he won a championship that was outside of Richard Childress Racing. So this was the year before he went to the iconic number three in which the rest was history. Here's our first Jeff Gordon car of the day. Uh, it says 1995 right here on the thing. That's true. So, good job, NASCAR Hall of Fame. But our first Jeff Gordon car of the day. So you guys might think this is a Steve Park car, but if you look at the name rail, Darrell Waltrip. He filled in for Steve Park since he was injured. So this is one of Darrell Waltrip's cars that he drove for DEI for a few races. This is an Adam Petty car. It was raced in 2000, and you can see there's actually a lot of dirt and stuff on the nose. There's a Jimmy Johnson car right here. One of his classic patriotic schemes, the Power of Pride car. We have a Bubba Wallace truck right here, the okay, Wendell Scott throwback that he won with at Orangeville in 2014. We also have a Kyle Busch Interstate Batteries car from 2019 right here. And we also have a Josh Berry late model right next to that. So Matthew is on uh, 34 degrees of banking right now, which is very steep. It is not comfortable. <laughs> very steep banking. So just imagine that Matthew's at Talladega right now, just chilling on the track. Right here, you got the Hall of Fame jacket and the ring right there. And then you come in here and you can see all of the inductees 
in here. This is a clay model for the Ford Next Gen car that they used to try and design the body for it. There's also a standard Joey Logano Next Gen car here on display. It looks like this is just a Ford area in general. They really go in depth about the Next Gen car. So for any science nerds that are interested about how that works, this is the perfect spot for you. This is basically the whole like drive shaft of the car. So here's the engine. Got the exhaust. Got that right there. And we got the transaxle right there as well. They have a next gen chassis on here. So they have the front part right there. And then the middle part of the chassis. And then the rear end. And they just put all these together and make the car. So this is the iRacing simulator. They got all these cars over here and then up on the screen. Got Brad Kozlowski doing donuts like he did at Daytona on the backstretch. So these are all the cars that they're using. So at the RCR shop, they had an old hauler. This is just, just a little bit more modern than the one that was at RCR. Oh yeah. They got some memorabilia in here, including some fire suits, trophies, letters, hard cards, a window net from Ryan Blaney's All-Star Race, which was controversial, by the way. Uh, a bunch of other fire suits and gear over here. They got Denny Hamlin's Coke 600 trophy, a checkered flag from Eric Jones, a Reddick helmet, another trophy. They have Daniel Suarez's pinata that he smashed at Sonoma last year. So this is a piece of the safer barrier when Michael McDowell crashed in qualifying at Texas in 2008. They have a little display for Martinsville Speedway on here. A bunch of different things including some Jimmy Johnson gloves. And then we got a Jeff Gordon helmet over there. And a lot of other knickknacks, including this is the first Martinsville clock. The first Martinsville clock, a little bit smaller than the ones they hang out nowadays, but pretty cool to see the first one. They got a lot of different trophies here, like Sonoma, Miles the Monster, an Iowa trophy, uh, actual Martinsville clock. They got the Clash trophy, Talladega, Daytona 500. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, I will pass on that one. Hey, it looks cool though. Yeah, my guy won that one. Uh, they got Coda. Uh, they got Las Vegas. And they got Auto Club. So these are all the different rings. We got the championship ring right there. Daytona 500. Coke 600 ring. And then the Hall of Fame ring right there. So right here they have a bunch of Jimmy Johnson fire suits, and then they got some trophies right there as well. Dover, Texas, Auto Club, Coke 600, a few other ones. Here's a Chase Elliott car, the Lumar car. Uh, probably not the specific one he won with that Coda, but it's the one that um, gave Chevy the most wins by the manufacturer. Matthew and I are just watching the absolute chaos. Oh my gosh. Okay, somebody just wrecked under caution. <laughs> he slaps in the wreck. Matthew and I are watching this. We're just like, no, this, this is painful to watch. But, oh, there goes another one. Oh, there they go again. No, this is just, this is just comical to watch. Right here, we got the 2022 champion fire suits and helmets. We got Zane Smith Logano. And we got Ty Gibbs right there. So on this uh, third floor technically they have a lot of historic stuff. Historic cars including the rule book from the first ever race. So in here we have all the different series champions. Different kinds of tours over here got modifieds, 
got the Mexico series right there, the Euro series, K&M, and then Truck Xfinity and Cup down there. So down this hallway on this side they have a bunch of different old trophies all the way down. So we saw one of the cars from the 1979 Daytona 500. Now we get to see the helmet. Donnie Allison's famous red and bright helmet. He was holding right there. And him and Kelly Obro fought. We got a bunch of historic uniforms right here. David Pearson, Kelly Albro, and Richard Petty. Three very historic drivers. And then over here we got Richard Petty's final championship trophy, his seventh from 1979. So this is a half car, half Richard Petty Pontiac, half street Pontiac. And they go over the different comparisons of the car on the side, which is pretty cool to show the difference between a race car and a actual car that you buy at the shop. So this is the steering wheel from Dale Earnhardt's final win. And that's the wreath from Jeff Gordon's first Brickyard 400 win. We've got Jeff Gordon's first Winston Cup trophy back there. Dale Jr.'s Bush championship trophy. Kevin Harvick, 2001 Atlanta win, his first race win after yeah, Dale Earnhardt. That Winston Millbull, that was what uh, Dale Earnhardt won in his final cup race ever at that, uh, Talladega in 2000. So right here we have Jimmy Johnson's first championship trophy right there. And right over here we got a Camping World trophy. Truck Series, Ron Hornaday Jr. Truck Series Championship. And here we got Dan Patrick's Pole Award for the Daytona 500. Chase Elliott's Xfinity, well, nationwide at the time, Series Trophy. And we got the Austin Dillon Eldora Truck Win Trophy as well. So over there we had the Pontiac Hybrid Car. Over here we got the NASCAR Toyota Camry one. Unfortunately, this isn't the TRD, which I have at home. This is the XSE, but they have the different steering wheels and all the different comparisons between the street version of the Camry and the race car version of the Camry, which is about to change next year, the body style. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for the Hall of Fame tour. I was surprised. There was a lot of stuff in there from different decades, from all the way from the beginning of NASCAR up to the current day with the next gen stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed that tour. That was my first time there, Matthew's second or third. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in the next one. Hey guys, this is Jimmy. I'm just editing the Hall of Flame vlog. And on behalf of Matthew and I both, we just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support on this content from our charlotte series we really do appreciate it a lot of our videos have hundreds or some of them even have over a thousand views which we never ever expected so we just wanted to quickly say thank you guys for all of the support we hope you enjoyed all of those videos from the charlotte vlog we got a lot more planned upcoming for 2024 so make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll see you guys in our next video